Turning now to that fatal accident, a top American climber killed. The 31-year-old falling to his death in Mexico. Will Reeve is here with the story. Good morning to you, Will. Good morning, Eva. Just days ago, we told you about the near-fatal fall by champion climber Emily Harrington. Today, another elite American climber has fallen, this time to his death. Fellow climbers remembering Brad Gobright as one of their very best. This morning, tragedy striking one of the world's most accomplished free solo climbers. 31-year-old Brad Gobright killed after falling nearly 1,000 feet from a climbing spot in Mexico. I do experience fear, but I've learned to deal with it. A California native, Gobright, was featured in the 2017 film Safety Third. It's just kind of about the beauty and simplicity of moving up a rock wall all by yourself. With him at the time of the fall, his partner Aiden Jacobson, the pair descending from the mountain El Sendero Luminoso. Both climbers losing control while rappelling, Jacobson injuring his ankle. Gobright sent into a free fall. He really thought out the things he was going to do, and the more dangerous and the more large a climb was, the more he spent time really thinking out what he was going to do. It's not just some sport hobby, it's, you know, it's my passion, it's my life. I want to look back on these years and be super proud. In 2017, Gobright, along with partner Jim Reynolds, set a speed record climbing a route called The Nose on El Capitan in Yosemite National Park. Climbing the 3,000-foot route in a little over two hours and 19 minutes. The same peak where 33-year-old Emily Harrington survived a fall earlier this week. One of her rescuers, Alex Hunold, the climber profiled in the Academy Award-winning documentary Free Solo. Emily was attempting a very difficult goal, which is to, to free climb El Cap in a day on a route that, that no woman has ever successfully mm -hmm. free climbed in a day. Now friends and family in mourning over a life lost too soon. Hunold posting a tribute to Gobright, saying he was such a warm, kind soul, one of a handful of partners that I always loved spending a day with. I want him to be remembered as someone who lived a full, enjoyable life filled with incredible adventures with people. Mexican officials said the area where Gobright fell was virtually inaccessible. A tragic, a tragic story, Tom. A sad story all around, really, for that tight community. All right, Will, thank you for that. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.